Sustainable advertising addresses the carbon footprint and other negative environmental and social impacts associated with the production and distribution of advertising materials. A growing number of companies are making a commitment to the reduction of their environmental impact associated with advertising production and distribution. Advertising's environmental impact Print advertising impacts the environment due to the carbon dioxide emitted into the atmosphere as a result of the production and distribution of print media. Factors include the sourcing and production of paper, petroleum-based ink, solvents, plastics and adhesives used and the fossil fuels burned in the manufacturing and distribution of newspapers and magazines. Digital media has impacts due to the greenhouse gas emissions associated with the manufacturing and operation of servers and data center devices, networking devices and client computers as well as the e-waste impacts of these devices at the end of their useful lives. In 2004, over 7 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent greenhouse gases associated with print media advertising were emitted into the atmosphere by the United States. In 2005 U.S. advertisers spent over $65 billion on print media advertising and created over 250,000 ad pages. A single ad page run in a popular consumer magazine can represent as much as 7 tons of carbon dioxide emissions when supply chain factors associated with papermaking, printing, logistics and landfill disposal or incineration of post-consumer and unsold media are taken into consideration. According to a recent New York Times article quoting David J. Refkin, Director of Sustainable Development for Time Inc., a single copy of Time magazine results in the emission of 0.29 pounds of CO2 equivalent greenhouse gases. In the USA, about 25 million square meters or about 10,000 tons of non biodegradable PVC is directly attributed to outdoor billboards every single year. To put this into context this would cover the equivalent of 16 square miles or the center of most major urban cities. <laughs> Corporate involvement Corporations such as General Electric, Timberland and Walmart are making substantial commitments to developing and marketing sustainable products and business practices. Victoria's Secret has recently agreed to reduce the impact of its catalogs by using recycled papers and stopping using paper from endangered forests. Moxie Sozo is the first graphic design and advertising agency to be carbon neutral, zero waste and powered by 100% renewable energy. However, many corporations take advantage of the sustainable issue by greenwashing their products to build a facade that the products are indeed sustainable, when in reality it is only a marketing strategy to gain better public relations. In 2006, jewelry company John Hardy began a pilot bamboo reforestation project on Nusa Panita, a small island off the coast of Bali where the company's workshops are located. The primary object is to sequester carbon dioxide by planting bamboo, a long-lived, rapidly growing woody perennial grass. In order to offset the company's advertising footprint of 451 metric tons of CO2, an area equivalent to four football fields will be planted. Topic. 
first sustainable advertising agency. 360 Agency Berlin was the first sustainable advertising agency to be created worldwide. Created in 2015 this agency took the decision to promote exclusively sustainable and ethical brands. For the first time an advertising agency declared that they were entirely responsible for the product and brands they promote acting as a label in the long term. Topic. See also Green Marketing Institute for Sustainable Communication Sustainable Packaging